my way. My European van trip begins. Aside from tonight, I have no idea where I'm going for the whole trip. And I have two months put aside. Purposefully trying not to plan everything out like I usually do. Just see how I feel. So I've got my bike with me, so I'm gonna definitely get some bike rides in, some hikes. Should be interesting, this is completely new to me. Usually I have everything planned out meticulously. I stress if I haven't, so I am stressed, but I'm going to force myself to get over it. So, I'm at the first stop, Merlimont. This is right by the beach, apparently. So I'm gonna have a wander down, see what I can see. Everywhere's closed. It's a Sunday and a quiet town. There's a crepe reef. I'm trying to eat well on this trip. It's a good thing that there were no places open because I have dehydrated meals, which I made. There might be a little montage of me making these. So I should be using these. I mean, I made these so I could eat them when I'm out. This is curry. I might do a spaghetti bolognese actually, but it'll be one of these anyway. get it boiling and then simmer it 20 minutes. I'm booked in here for one night. I'm thinking about trying to book in here for tomorrow night. Just because having gone for a little walk earlier, it looks like a really nice little area. And there's a nice town up the road called La 2K. Um, at the moment, I can't book it for tomorrow. I don't know whether, I don't know why, but I'll try again tomorrow. If not, I'll book somewhere nearby. I've just had a bit of a tidy up. The van was in a bit of a mess just because last minute throwing everything in. I use the top bunk here for shelves so I can put all my hiking and bike stuff in and I've still got an area where I can sit up. It's all one big experiment. Done. Now tweet it. So that's it. I'm gonna do that and then go to bed, I think. See you tomorrow. Morning, day two. I had a great night, really good night. So comfortable. I bought a new latex mattress for the van. It made a huge difference to the bed in here. So today I'm thinking of going for a bike ride or a hike, because I'm close to a place called Etapples. How do you pronounce it? Anyway, it's a nice little uh, looking town and it has a military cemetery, which I know I want to visit. Decided to go for a walk to Etapla. I'm going to guess it's Etap, Etapla, Etapla. That sounds French. Bad, I know. Let's see if I can get a Royale with cheese. I know I shouldn't. I was speaking to my mum and she said she saw my last video and she could tell that I put on quite a bit of weight. And I checked, I've put on 42 pounds since I got back from the GDMBR. So I'm just over 14 stone, which is quite a lot. And it would be concerning, but it's like my mum said, it'll all go again later in the year on the Tram Zan. I've got 42 pounds of energy ready for July, the 22nd, which is when I fly over to Portland, Oregon, to start my Trans Am ride. I can't wait. It's going to be awesome. I just know it is.
back in Merlimont. Thought I'd come out and see if I can find a shop that's open. And I haven't, but I've got soup and stuff. I'll go shopping tomorrow. This is where I'm at, a camping car park. It's busy, but that's what I wanted. Leon's La Forêt. Probably not pronounced that way, but that's where I am for two nights now. Awesome place. It really is very beautiful. Well, I need a shop though. Focus, Matt. So easily distracted. Shops open at four, a couple of hours to kill. This is unusual for me. I'm gonna find out whether I can actually relax. There's nothing I can do. I have no jobs to do, nothing to plan. Can I relax? I guess I'm gonna find out. That killed a good 10, 15 minutes. So success, got to the shop. It wasn't huge, but I got what I needed. Eggs, olives, some ham to go with my mushroom curry tonight. Coffee, oh, beans. I bought coffee beans, Muppet. I haven't got a grinder. Pommes frites and just two beers. Not bad, that'll do. Keep me going for tonight and then uh, I think I'm going to, I am going to make a point of going to a proper supermarket. That was good. It was not bad. So it looks like the weather's going to hold off. I think it might be a couple of showers but nothing bad, so I'm definitely going to get on the bike today. I mean, part of the reason of this trip is to get plenty of bike riding in, in preparation for the Trans Am. And it's just more interesting than riding around the same old streets in Britain. I think there's some interesting things to see around here. I've got a 40-ish mile route planned out. I may extend that, depending on how I feel. But I haven't really ridden for a while, so that's probably enough, to be honest. We're out. Feels like ages since I've been on the bike. Properly anyway. This is uh, started off nice. And I imagine it's gonna carry on that way. Patchy cloud, bit of sun now and then. Very cool place, the bike feels good. I like these tires, already I can tell. It's gonna be a good day. Quick stop. For a flapjack. I'm in a place called Equis. Equis, I think. E C O U I S. And this here is the Collegial Notre Dame. I'm sorry, France, for the abysmal pronunciation. Andre Le Basque. I recognise that picture. I do. So I'm in Les Andalis. This is the River Seine. 
and that was Chateau Gaillard, I imagine it's pronounced, at the top of this hill. I love the sun. I've missed it. Britain has been so rainy and miserable forever. I'm in danger of getting a sunburn, which is fantastic. Bring it on. Bonjour. Very cool. I don't know what that was. I need energy. I'm going to stop here, have a quick snack. I was just going to have a snack and I noticed this thing, ruin of some sort. And I thought I'd come and have a look and see what it is. It's an old abbey but it's closed. That other place just down the road that we came past earlier on the water was a spinning mill, neo-gothic spinning mill built in 1855 where it burnt down a bit over the top for a spinning mill but if you're gonna do it do it I suppose First ride of the trip. It was a nice one, really good route. 47 miles, really good. I really enjoyed it. The roads here are just incredible and very quiet. So maybe it's just this area, I don't know, but it was, uh, it was a nice ride. So now I think I'm gonna nip to that little shop in the town, get myself something nice and then crash out for the evening. Tomorrow, I don't know where I'm going. No idea, but I know it'll be south. Right, time to be bold and navigate the Intermarché. I struggle enough with British supermarkets. I am literally the only person here. Not much of a sight, but it doesn't matter. This is just uh, an in-between day. Anyhow, that's me done for the day. So I'll probably see you tomorrow now. Hopefully, tonight I'll find a nice, interesting ride or a hike. Let's see. shop to come across. <sighs> now to run back. <sighs> Not very far, a couple of miles. 2.4 miles. So I'm aware I switch between miles and kilometers, but don't blame me. Blame Britain. I leave this pan of in, get changed and get to Le Mans, I suppose. So this is an air. I'm not going to stay here tonight, but this is where I'm going to park for today. And this is exactly what I wanted. It's full, more or less, lots of people around. So I don't have to worry about the van. Le Mans Cathedral. 
built between the 6th and 15th centuries. It took a long time. Very gothic, very cool. Panini Pizza, Trebon. That was interesting. I'm all cityed out. I head back to the van, get to my parking place for tomorrow, work out a ride for tomorrow. Although unfortunately it looks like it's gonna rain. You never know, it might change. So that ends day, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Six, day six. I've been out here for six days already. I would say it's been a success. I'm really enjoying it. So I might have to adjust my plans tomorrow, but I was just going to sign off by saying that um, I've been thinking I can't treat this like a holiday. It's not. It's just like life, isn't it? But more interesting, I suppose. So tomorrow looks like it is going to rain all day, but I have things to do. I'm probably going to do a couple of reviews for my review channel and paperwork and stuff. So, yeah, stuff I'd do if I was at home and it was raining. So goodbye. I'll see you tomorrow. So Saturday morning, it's a bit of a dull, rainy day. We knew it was going to be. What I'm going to do is uh, drive to a different park up tonight and there's a nice ride from the next one. I'll be ready for that tomorrow morning. A place called Montreux Belay, I think. Yeah, it's about 100 miles south of where I was this morning. I've learned that I like the traveling, I like the driving, I like the hiking, I like the cycling. Yesterday was all right, Le Mans, that was interesting. I'm glad I did it. Saw the cathedral, had a look around, but I just like moving. This is what this trip is all about. It's just moving. I'm just working my way further south and I get a kick out of it. I get a buzz from it. So. This is what it's all about. So this place is amazing, a beautiful little town. I'll have a look later, I'll probably go for a little walk. Um, th there's a ride, a really nice ride, which Ross has found for me. No surprise, he always does. That I will hopefully do tomorrow, if not the day after, but I've got a feeling I'm gonna stay here for a couple of days at least. I'm on a free municipal site. Perfect, I mean, it's, it's just such a nice little town. I'm so glad I came, I made the right choice. I've got some shopping, I've gone completely French. I've got a pan of raisins, I've got crackers, chutney, a selection of cheeses, and a half bottle of wine. Notice a half bottle of wine because I'm a terrible binge drinker, so if I bought a full bottle, I'd drink a full bottle and then say goodbye to tomorrow's ride. As it is with half a bottle, I've probably got a good chance. Nice misty morning, it's supposed to be nice today as well. The sun's gonna come out, probably midday. I'll be on my way by then, but I'm looking forward to my bike ride today. Gotta get ready every morning. I have a routine, I have my coffee, my only coffee of the day now. I have one a day, amazingly. Um, and I answer comments. The ones for this new video, the GDMBR movie video, are just insane, I can't tell you how positive they all are. So thanks to everyone who, who has commented. Thanks to anyone who comments on anything. It's awesome and I love it. I don't have to rush out today. This ride is about 
35 miles. I might extend it a little bit, I suppose. But um, I don't know, we'll see. And there's a good hike from here, which I might do tomorrow as well. It's a lovely spot. It's just such a beautiful place. And this is a free site. They want you in France. This is what I've learned. Every one of these little villages, they want camper vans. They want you here. And of course, I'm going to go into the town and spend some money. And it makes sense. We're out. The campsite was right on the route. Which is good. So I think it's about 33 miles, 34. Let's see what we can see. I'm anticipating a nice ride. It's cold, but there is a bit of sun. So that's nice. Definitely hot enough to take the legs off. Sorry to dazzle you with these guaranteed pasty white legs. I'm gonna do that actually. I think if I just have one leg off, then um, probably get the right balance. I'll have this snack as well. Eight miles in, it's been a lovely ride so far. Nepar quitted the route. And exploded bombs in the area, I mean, seriously. Definitely not gonna quit the route. to Vaud Abbey. Really cool place. There's a necropolis over there where Eleanor of Aquitaine is buried. She was buried in 1204. She was the only person to be the Queen of England and France at the same time. And she's also buried there with Richard the Lionheart, who was her son. So I thought I'd come in. Gotta have a look, haven't you? It was made in 1101. This place was also, when it was made, the biggest community of contemplative nuns. Now I'll confess, I don't know what other types of nuns there are. Maybe non-contemplative ones. Nuns that just don't bother thinking. Eighteen oh four, after seven hundred years of nuns running around the place contemplating things, they were all kicked out by Napoleon, who turned the whole thing into a prison. Of course he did. Excellent place, really enjoyed that. Time to go though. Time for the second of these. Coming up to a part of the trail, apparently there's tunnels that have been carved into the cliffs. Troglodytes, they call them. It's a troglodyte trail. But they were, when the stones, all the houses around here were carved from those stones, and then people used to live in these tunnels. It was a cheap, cheap way of living. Hence, people called troglodytes.
knew I needed gravel tires. These tires are really impressed me actually. They're good on the road. I haven't really had much gravel, but they look like they're going to be good. Very pleased. WTB Rattlers. Yeah, Rattlers. So that is the Loire River, which would make sense because I'm in the Loire Valley. I think we're about three quarters of the way through this ride. It's been really good so far. Summer, another chateau. There are chateaux everywhere, it seems. Hmm. What to do? I could just take my shoes and socks off and wade through. Depends how deep it is. I'll let you know. Thankfully, it's dry up here. Got off lightly there. Warming up now. It's 20 to 5. I can't believe it's taken me this long. I mean, there's so much to see, really. I'm not showing you everything. If I showed you every chateau, it'd be midnight by now. Very beautiful place. Obviously the link to this ride will be in the description. So if you did want to do it, you can. <laughs> so there, done. 35 miles, took ages, just so much to see. I mean, France for bike riding so far is just incredible. Really, really impressive. So I'm happy. I don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow, but I don't need to know. I'll see how I feel in the morning. I think this might be the end of the video. If it is, thank you for watching. Tomorrow, I said earlier, I think, I don't know what I'm doing yet. I'm going to wait until the morning to decide. So yes, that's it. I'll call it a night watching YouTube. Stez Sticks Fix. It's just this guy and he fixes broken electronic equipment. I have no interest in electronic equipment and fixing it. But I'm kind of binge watching his channel, watching everything he does. It's funny. I think it's just relaxing for me. I can... It's therapeutic. I'm watching him take something broken and fix it. And uh, he's very good. Right, I'll see you tomorrow or the next video.